of victims of throat cancer after 25 years of smoking. And this is because we're saying they started with the unfiltered cigarettes, then went to, to the filtered cigarette and spoke for 25 years. And as a result, Honorable Speaker, there has been demonstration globally that there is a direct relationship between cigarette smoking and many forms of cancer, especially throat and lung cancer. It has been demonstrated globally that uh, uh, changing tax regime on, or changing taxation on cigarettes actually impact the consumption of those services and has a, a subsequent inf uh, impact on reduction of cancer cases. Honorable Speaker, on alcoholic beverages, Honorable Speaker, they, they, they propose amendment to shift from taxation by volume to taxation by alcohol content is also a great welcome uh, a, a policy idea and aligns with best practice global, Honorable Speaker. This means that alcoholic drinks that have higher alcohol content will have a high ex, higher excess duty than those alcoholic drinks that have lower alcohol content. This, Honorable Speaker, will not just make higher content alcohol more expensive, but most importantly, in the fight against illicit brews, ensure there is safer alcohol available to those that want to take alcohol. Because, Honorable Speaker, we, we have accepted as a country there are those that want to take and there are those that don't want to take. So those that want to take need to be given access to safe, safe and affordable and healthy and, and make sure that those others that do illicit, Honorable Speaker, are discouraged. As we robustly, Honorable Speaker, engage on the Convention about the Finance Bill and critique it, it must be realized that this bill aims to correct around 346 billion shillings only from a proposed 3.9 trillion shillings. We therefore request this House, our departmental committees and our oversight committees and Kenyans in the public to interrogate the expenditure side of this budget as they are interrogating the financing side. This Honorable Speaker, we lead to a more robust budget-making process uh, reduce or prevent budgeted corruption, uh, uh, maintain fiscal discipline in, our, in the use of our resources by our executive honorable speaker. Because one of the speaker is the trust deficit on what this will be used. And this house, in our oversight roles, can do a great job in reducing that trust deficit, in ensuring that the taxes paid by hand and Kenyans are spent cor correctly for the success for the prosperity of the great public of the Republic of Kenya.